Plum Street Wheat. I know where the street is. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a brewer review, and today we have Christian Moorline Plum Street Wheat. Now, Christian Moorline is a local brewer here in Cincinnati. It was a big brand years and years ago, back before Prohibition. It was all over the, the country, well, I don't know about the country, but definitely up in New York, as far as way as New York you could get Christian Moorline beer. And now that they're more of a craft beer, they make some of those old brands, but not all of them. And this one being kind of a modern take on a wheat beer. Now this is, a, I guess, is a wheat beer with plums, um, or plums added, or plum juice. Uh, let's see how it says, with real fruit, real plum, plum fruit for unique provocative flavor. So here's what we see, see what we got. Now, wheat beers aren't a huge, uh, aren't some of my, I'm not really a huge fan of, of wheat beers. Uh, and then fruit added. If, if someone's going to add fruit, this is one of the things I look for in beers that have fruit added. I want the actual fruit. Now, I don't mind if it's in secondary. I don't mind if they make a puree. I don't mind if they put the whole fruit in. I don't mind if they make an extract from the fruit. But what I don't want to see is fruit flavors or natural flavors. I want the actual fruit somehow involved. And different beers have these in, you know, the steeping. There's different places you can do it, but I just want to see the actual fruit being used. So, it is a little on the cold side. It really smell, it feels like artificial carbonation. Fairly clear for a wheat beer. Uh, there's some yeast in the bottom. I didn't roll it, uh, which it, I don't know if it says to, but hey, let's see what we got. Oh, you can smell the plums right on the nose. Wow, that is, it's like plum and then there's this hint, little bitty hint of wheat right on the back. That is, that is very interesting because it's not really sweet. It's kind of dry. The wheat is very noticeable. So it, you know you're drinking a wheat beer, perhaps because I didn't get the yeast all stirred up in it. It has a very clean feel, but the plum is definitely there. And it, the plum kind of, it's like it shows up pretty early. And then it kind of fades away, and then it's in the remnants of the flavor of the taste is plum, and it's just it's just there. It's not real, like I said, it's not really sweet. It's just kind of available. Yeah, very very um, noticeable plum on the nose. Hmm, that's very interesting. Because it's yeah, it almost has a dry feel, and I, maybe that's from the plums. But I mean, it's really got the flavor of the plum. I'm very surprised. It's not hidden. It's not really up in front of everything. It's well balanced. It is a very. So what else did they say? Um, Made for the creative thinker with seasonable beer. This seasonal beer features an innovative mix of malt and fruit for an approachable but intriguingly zesty finish. Wow, that is a very good description because that's exactly what I get. And a creative thinker, that's kind of how I am. INTJ, INTP, you know, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, that is very good. It's 4.5%, it's, um, so it's very sessionable. But, you know, I could probably have one or two of these in a sitting, and that's about it. Uh, a a six-pack of this would take me a long time to get through. So even though it's very good, it is a flavor that isn't, it's like you've had it, and kind of the novelty wears off pretty quickly. And so it's not something I don't think, I can't see me having this over and over and over again. It's kind of like some of the pumpkin beers I've had. I like, like one or two, and that's about it. But... Um, you know, I'm going to check into this one. That is a, a, a very good wheat beer with plums. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Uh, a lot of people are kind of, on some of the things on Untapped, a lot of people didn't like it. But, and it is very, you can see the, the carbonation, there's not much head, but the carbonation is very, very active there. Um, you could have this, as far as, I know I've had this a while and I'm finally getting to it. It's kind of a, a summerish beer. Kind of late summer, 
So as far as food pairings, I'm saying, you know, this is a picnic beer. So this is something where you've got hamburgers grilled out on charcoal and hot dogs and maybe some nets and brats and stuff like that. This is a, a, a good beer to go with that kind of setting. It really has that summertime outdoor picnic feel to it. This is not something you're going to have steak and, and potatoes with. It just will be too much of a mash. Uh, but the plums, because think about, a, you know, you might have, or, or maybe you're traveling or whatever, but you may have some plums, you might have some fruit or something at a picnic. You know, you throw them in the cooler, and you got them in a bag, you throw them in the cooler on top of the ice. And this would be a good beer to, to, to kind of go with that kind of setting is what I see with this. But uh, overall, you know, pretty good. And like I said, I've had some, some beers where the, the fruits are just overpower everything. And this has got a nice balance. The wheat, malt, and the plum kind of dance around each other quite well. And it is very carbonated. i got to belch again. I mean, it is very, very fizzy. So it's one of these you're going to have to be careful with. So, in here. so there you go. So what do you think of Plum Street uh, wheat beer? Have you had it? Don't have it? Put in the comments below, what are your food pairings? Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks a lot for the comments. And we've got people sending me messages and stuff. Finally starting to get going on these. I, I've been gone from these for several weeks, and it's my fault. And I keep saying it. But, hey, we're closing in on 100. This is, we're closing in on 90. We're almost to 90, so that's great. Thank you very much, and we will see you later. Bye. Don't have glasses. Yes. Alright. Turn off. Okay. Wow, it's way over there. Musa Besa. Bun Jay Tso Wan slightly after this one.